So today we've got two characters. Uh, <laughs> we've got student tabs. Student. And um, I should have really got my notes on my phone. They're on my computer. Be, and... You should have got better names for your characters. So we've got two. What are I? Yeah, there we go. We've got... never heard names like this. So we've got. <laughs> today we've got. Uh, we're going to meet two people. We've got student tabs and we've got um, recruiter tabs. Recruiter tabs, okay. Yeah. So the first episode will be student tabs asking student Stuart. <laughs> Is that a clicky? <laughs> now, you can tell I did, couldn't you? <laughs> what gun fingers? I, I did it for the alliteration. That's why I call myself student tabs. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll be asking you, because obviously I don't go uni, what it's like to go uni. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe you can try and convince me or or deter me. Either way. Like, yeah, we could try and convince each other, you know. Like, I'm not going to argue against your points. I'll just tell you the good points. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, you're going to try and sell uni to me. Try and put me in a... It's going to be difficult, bro, because I'm not I'm feeling it myself. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, yeah let, me, uh, let me go and get student tabs. And... Um, <laughs> You need to introduce yourself. Okay. All right, you can come in now. All right, cheers. All right, just sit there. All right. Hello? <laughs> What's up, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, man. All right, cool. This is cringe as AF, isn't it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, <laughs> your voice ain't changed. Oh, yeah, I should. I should... Where, That's where what makes me laugh. Should I be from somewhere else? No, don't bother with accents. Cause you, you I fuck. can't do them. Oh my god. Nah. Just, just no. for you, bro. That's all good. Why one, cuz? <laughs> Nothing, cuz. Right. <laughs> What's up? I'm thinking of going uni and I've just got a few questions. And uh, I think maybe you can help me and a listener. Yeah, man. So, my first question is uh, why uni? Why didn't you want to do anything else? Well, when you go to uni, it's like people have different reasons. So some people actually go for the degree because there's a further goal within that like line of work. But if I want to go for the sesh? If you want to go for the sesh, then you're only going to last um, the first year because that's when none of the actual grades matter. All you need is 40% It's a pass. And I, I'd say three, I know three of my friends now who are dropping out of uni because they've used up their student loan. They just wanted to... They thought... Well, no, two of them thought they would enjoy uni. Um, But the third one is actually a musician. He just used the money to, like, like promote and boost himself and buy good equipment and stuff. Yeah. But for me, um, I actually just came for the experience. Like, I just wanted to experience... (laughs) No, no. Because I'm not a big... um, I'm not a big clubber. Like, I'll go out if... uh, like if I have the right people because then well any night's a good night with the right people but I just wanted to have the experience of independency so living by myself and having to do stuff for myself and then meeting new people like from not necessarily all over the place I didn't care about where they came from just like meeting a new set of people because it's a new life like completely separate from wherever you came from you can reinvent yourself Exactly. That's where. That's why when you see in movies people having, like, um, a gay phase, like, or experimenting, or turning gay, this is the place to start um, or to see if that's you because you can completely redesign your image. So whatever you had at home, you can completely change it because no one knows you. You are your own canvas. So paint yeah. your own thing. I wouldn't do that personally. Reinvent myself. So I was listening to this other podcast and they were saying like um, how one of their boys went off to uni and when they went to visit him, that their, their boy's friends was telling them all these like wayward stories and they were like, fam, this, this, th- that's not you, fam. Yeah, people change a lot of uni, you'll find it because now it's not always going to be the opposite. It can be like just as bad as they were before if you didn't like them. But I have found that a few people I know from like home have gone to the same uni as me. Now, I didn't really know. Um, I didn't do it. It's a long story, but I didn't do research on the place I went to. It was quite last minute. 
Like mm-hmm. I went for adjust. I did better than expected, so I could just choose the best uni possible I can get into. So I did. And seeing someone from home, now I didn't particularly get along with this person. Like didn't dislike them and we didn't dislike each other. But I never spoke to them purely because I just didn't want to. And I think they had the it was quite mutual. But then um seeing them at uni and then we went out and like just I don't know. Like, it's completely changed my mind about this person. I think they're amazing. Like a lot of fun, and I can like genuinely Vibes. consider them a friend. Yeah, yeah. Like completely. Like uh, uni can change you, but uni doesn't necessarily change you. It's what you want to do. So and you know you're saying um, I wouldn't reinvent my image. Mm. You don't have to, but yeah. when. Now I want to say my my life back home. Now you can ask um, you can ask Tabs this, but like my life back home was pretty good. Like pretty no, my life at home was sick. Like had everything set up, everyone knows each other, and you just had a great time when you set it up. But okay. um, coming to uni with that mindset of like, oh, this is how I want it to be, exactly like home, doesn't work like that, man. You you have to take it as it comes, and then whatever you want to do you have to set up yourself like you don't grow up with these people you don't know them do you know what i mean mm. so uni is um it's tough but it's so rewarding in the social sense like it really is yeah what did you need to get into yours uh well, grade wise uh yeah yeah well, um, i don't really know because the website said a Oh, no, I don't want to say that because I think I might be wrong. I think it said BBC or BBB, and I got CDC. But when you call last minute, you can just say, listen, I did better than expected. Can I go for adjustment on this course? Hmm. And then, yeah, I'm not sure that's right. But like, uh, yeah, but I went for adjustment. That's, yeah. I think if I went up to an Oxford recruiter and offered my, her my BBC, she would let me in. But, um... Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know why I was so slow on that one. <laughs> like, I was spelling it out. I went, Wait, "What is B?" Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so fucking stupid, <laughs> right? Just put that sound effect. On <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, that was alright. <laughs> we just ruined the like the premise of the question. We're laughing. <laughs> All right, what's your next question? Oh, no, like, um, so obviously now you're there. Like, what, what's the schedule like? Schedule, uh, it changes for each course. So, um, naturally, the sciences are more demanding and like sports. So, you're in every day. My course, um, I'm only in three days a week. Mm. Um, that's but, like heaven, isn't it? School, you have to be in five days a week. Yeah, one thing that uni has made me is a little bit. Well, at first, like I've brought it back now. Like I, ha- I have my own routine in check about morning and stuff. Like I can, I'll get up in the mornings now, probably. But when you start going to uni and no one's getting you up, like no one's waking you up, no one's telling you you've got to get to like school. You kind of fall into a, um, a pit of nah, fuck that. I don't really, I can't be asked, and you won't go. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not like a perfect student. I still miss lectures here and well everywhere like it depends but um the schedule's not too hefty but that's only first year i'm only i'm only don't forget, i've only just done the first year so yeah. we'll have to update in the second year imagine like we used to go to secondary school and like primary school and we did six hours of full-on lessons oh my god five. do you know what imagine waking up every morning what time did you wake up um pretty much time like just before six just before six. Yeah, six years. Just yeah. your tabs. Both of us. <laughs> we are one. What a coincidence. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are one. We are one. <laughs> okay. Um yeah. Really six. Jesus. Yeah, I've always okay. woken up early. Okay, fair enough. It's because um, I go to bed early. <laughs> this is just me, but like I would wake up at like eight, um, and then get ready, leave at eight thirty, get in for like eight forty five. But my school was a bit of a trek as well. So, and all, like, there might be traffic oh, and all that. True. That's true. So, yeah. just, I used to have to get the bus as well. 
So. Well, I, I'm talking about with driving times. Um, I would still leave a little bit late and then just because realistically, I like you said, I'm going to be there for six hours, which is so long. I really like school. To be fair, I, I loved it. I realized how much discipline there is in waking up early and then going to do a full day. But um, I, I hope you can agree with this, or at least Gre- Tabs can agree with me with this. You find that um, during those hours, if you didn't have a good teacher, you did feel like it was a waste. Like, why am I here right now? Yeah, I mean, a tiny bit. Yeah. Do you not find that? I was just there for the session, really. Oh my god, shut up. I was getting Your off, our, off our nut on Kathy, son. His school was a farm. Bro. Yeah. Bro, it was sick. We... <laughs> I actually really like school. I'm not even gonna lie. I really like school. Like, <laughs> wasn't your sixth form <laughs> building a shed? Basically, it was the best army bunk you've ever seen in your life. That's it. Was a... honestly, those two years were the best two years of my life. I'm not even lying. Really, I loved sixth form. It was so good. Yeah, I I liked it so, like so loved much. It. I I did another year. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you had loved so much you had to stay. I, I had to stay. Like I I just really enjoyed it, so I just wanted to stay one more year. Yeah, I, I love six form. Like, I should have told people that. I should have told people that. Yeah. When they asked me why I'm here, I should have just said that. That would have been so I really good. like it here. Oh uh, I really <laughs> You sure? Yeah, man. I love it, honestly. <laughs> I couldn't imagine going within two years. No, nah, staying was um, the best thing I ever did. Like I've met some like, um, like amazing people through it, and yeah, I'd I'd, I'd never look back. Nah, I I love this one. This one was cool. Mm. Was, but like, how about you? So yeah, you finished telling me hours. But how how about like? Because you work now, obviously. So it's like yeah. How do you balance doing that and? I keep my work minimal. Like I could do another day. Like I, if um. Being honest, I could do one more day. It's just um, I kind of want to have some freedom to do things I want to do. Like but, girls. Like what? Like girls. Like, <laughs> all right, mate. Let's, let's not do this on it. <laughs> <laughs> you must be selling this one. Yeah, yeah, I know, but let's not do this on it. <laughs> but okay, yeah, that's that's um that's one variant <laughs> of what, you, what I would do. But um, no, it's just. Other things like during your day, because obviously uni is not just your degree. You need to be, you need to grow as a person, which sounds so deep. And trust me, it's deeper than what it sounds. But you got to do more things with your life, like teach yourself stuff. Like you're, like, well, you can ask Tabs. Like he's learning a language, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's something you're doing in your spare time. That's something that every student should be doing in their spare time, like learning something, not necessarily a language, but learning something new like outside the course what are you learning obviously i know but you know <laughs> for the sake of the podcast <laughs> um, i'm learning photoshop because i like to i used to edit a lot of pictures with and i used to edit a lot of my friends pictures using like editing apps that like, you'd find on the app store i wouldn't pay for them they all be free but i just found that the edits were so generic and um so air touch, like, can, can do you ever look at a picture and just know it's been touched? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, I know what you mean. the the eyes are shinier than the sun. You're like, what what is going on here? Like, it's it's clearly been like edited. But yeah, when it comes to Photoshop, I'm just learning how to do everything like naturally. And then um, my real goal of it is to sell my service of um, editing pictures to whoever like whatever they want to do i'm hoping i can learn and do that right, we all but, know that's not your real goal your real goal is to give yourself a six pack in the topless photo that's your real goal well i don't want a topless photo but, but yeah, i'm not going to talk about that you should shut up right so <laughs> nah that's fair enough bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah would you ever actually let's let's not sidetrack but would you ever do that no are you mad that's what i'm yeah. <laughs> are you mad when people do it, do you not look? Cause I'll be too scared they have to catfish. Because imagine, like, you meet someone in real life, <laughs> and they like, so where's your six pack at? 
It's like, oh no, I've just said <laughs> it will come back in two hours. Do you think they just check like? <laughs> and they'll stroke your stomach and like, it'll... no, not even stroke. Them, just lift the top. And go. Bro, oh, oh like, man, I, would, I wouldn't catfish ever. <laughs> All right, I didn't. Mi- oh, that's what you meant. Oh my god, I feel well, you mean. Well, putting a six pack on yourself is kind of catfishing. Oh uh, no, no, that's one hundred percent catfishing. I, oh, that's just me. I'm being stupid, bro. I was not thinking. I thought you were talking about me. Oh, what? Well, give you a six pack? No, I thought you were talking about me taking my shirt off just to take a picture with my six pack. Well, yeah, I was earlier. But like when you found oh, okay. the question, I was my talking bad, about me. Yeah, I was getting it wrong. My bad. Right. Yeah, but I, I've already got that. So I'm okay. But like, I don't have to edit that on. I... I'm sorry, Mr. Six Fat. No, fair enough. You to be fair, you do. So... I, don't, I don't have to. Yes, yeah, so I can't right, say much. I, I just think with... um. Yeah, okay, my bad. I wasn't reading uh, reading what you said properly. So, yeah, I, I, me selling it, it sounds, it's not bad in my opinion. I I could care less about how this affects society, but it's not a good thing to feed on technically, because I know people have insecurities, and when they come to me, it's obviously to erase them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm kind of feeding on that. But like I'll only I'll only edit what they ask me to edit. I'll never I'll, if they just go. Can you just make me look better? That's gonna be a very tough thing for them because when they, what they when they see what I edit, like, may I change the shape of your nose, your eye color sometimes? Not like uh, blatant, but um, I have like a sample. I'll send it to you later. But I've changed um, the nose of this person completely, mm. and. It just it's just based on what I I like, not what's liked unanimously. Yeah. Yeah. If I, if I could do it, I'll just Photoshop like a Ferrari behind me, <laughs> or something, or a McLaren. Thing is, I would I actually prefer people who flex a BMW than a Ferrari because because you can BMW, afford it as well. No, I can't afford a BMW. Or maybe afford it. No, I can't afford a BMW, but. Um, people who flex BMWs, like it just, we spoke about this. You know how much it costs to insure a Ferrari? Bro, it's mad. Like, crashing that thing, I would completely write it off. Whether it was the slightest scratch, whatever, like, if they said I have to pay, it's getting written off. Like, I can't afford that. I'd, if someone gave me a Ferrari as a present, you best believe I'm selling it. I'd rather the hundred bags than a Ferrari. Yeah, you best believe I'm selling it. You think I've got the money? To be honest, I'm a car guy, there. so you are a I'm car into, guy. But... I'm into old cars, so I yeah. I I think we have we spoke. I just like Jeeps. I like big muscle cars like that. Like I'm you all know over. What they say it. about Jeeps though? Um, no. I'm trying to compensate for how big your garage is. <laughs> I know what you actually wanted to say. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but I know exactly what you wanted to say. Right. Nah, but speaking like... of Jeeps, how's living alone? How's living alone? <laughs> um... Good transition. <laughs> I'm getting good at this transition thing. Well, um, <laughs> living alone, I've like come to realize recently it's like my favorite thing. Mm. It's not, I don't hate people, but having my own space is so. It's not the same as being as at home and having your own room. Like this is having your own like real space, like no consultation of what you want to do. It's it's your space. Like do what the fuck you want, yeah. obviously within reason. But it's if I want to, oh, I don't know. If I want to invite friends over, if I want to bring someone home, like you can facilitate your K-pop addiction. You, on your own. you can literally do what the fuck you want. Like, it's so simple and easy. Like, I prefer it. And it's made me realize that every time I go home, I love seeing my family. Like, you know I do. Absolutely love seeing them. But um, I think after uni, I'm going to be looking to be living on my by myself. Like... <laughs> Good luck. It's not as hard as you think. I'm no, it's not. Like, I, know, I've like, I can actually rent a house right now. I've looked into pricing and it's really not hard at all. Like, it, 
Yeah, it's seriously very easy. But you have to have an income, obviously. But it's so, so easy. Um, yeah, well, with that said, like, I think living by yourself is, like, the most fun. It's a very big discipline moment. Mm. Like, it will make or break you. If you can't cook for yourself and you refuse to, or, like, take care of yourself and do your washing, you won't last long and you will move out. And I find that people who leave uni, it's not always based on the course and that. It's based on the fact they don't like living by themselves. But let's be real, yeah. You were living on rice and beans for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> how, 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 how are you going to out me like that? <laughs> Hold on. Yo, I, I told you that. I didn't tell anyone. That <laughs> oh, my God. I can bleep it out. And this is not going to get edited, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, fine. Right, it's out there. I used to eat rice and beans on the day. Like living like you're in the jungle. Yeah, not anymore, though. <laughs> Bro, oh no, it's rice, beans, and pasta. Yo, they'd actually eat that, and I'm a celeb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's why I ate for a couple of But uh... you know, the problem with me is that I can cook, yeah. But the thing is, I can cook like when I like when I learn to cook, I like learning to cook like really complex dishes. So mm, it's nah, stuff that's like really that's expensive simple, to buy. So if I went to uni, yeah. it would be really awkward. Cause... Very difficult for you, mate. But I can manage it, but it'll. It, I'll just have to like tone down what I cook because obviously be- at home like yeah go go sorry go on go on oh uh, no I was just, yeah obviously at home I've got um like if I want to buy prawns king prawns I can but like I don't know if you've ever bought king prawns but it's like two pounds and there's only like mate seafood six. is so expensive like I'll only ever eat salmon or anything if I'm at home and my dad's like got it when it comes to me cooking it's simple foods but spices and seasoning goes a long way what i hate is i got a friend um, i asked him can you cook he was like yeah yeah so i was like what can you cook he was like um egg toast i was like that doesn't count that's not cooking, <laughs> that's not cooking <laughs> bam <laughs> i honestly yeah, right, egg, I, I didn't mind but toast <laughs> toast is like he's not doing any effort he's literally just flicked down the button oh my goodness right no but like it's like at what point? What point do you consider cooking? Cooking? Does that make sense? I know it's a soft topic, but what point do you consider? I would say okay, boiling pasta is not cooking, but when you mix it with I don't know cheese, chicken, whatever. When you're frying it, that's cooking. Frying pasta. Yeah, I fry uh, pasta after I boil it with uh, cheese, egg, uh, chicken. And it melts in so nice, makes it all creamy. Uh, obviously, I don't eat cheese, but that's how you kind of make uh, mac and cheese, isn't it? I'm guessing. Yeah, well, you do that first. Mac and cheese. Do you know how to make mac and cheese? That is so I've seen it before. Complex. Basically, yeah, I've seen it before. You boil the pasta, you fry it with the cheese, and then you put more cheese on top, and then you bake it. So you cook and the that, pasta in three different ways. But in that pasta bake, I thought pa- uh, mac and cheese is just in a pot. In a pot? What do you mean? As in you don't bake it. I think, well, isn't that pasta it. bake? I think you bake it for like the <clears throat> the cheese on the top to melt. It depends like how like how much cheese you want. Oh, I don't know. I'll look into it. But, but yeah, fair you, enough. There are a lot of like ways that you, you... I consider after a simple egg, toast, beans... And maybe, and definitely bacon, and maybe sausage breakfast. After you can do that, then you, if you can do anything else apart from that, you you can cook. Full English, really. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, but it takes a bit of skill to cook sausages because obviously you need to know. Base it this way: you have to make it. You have to base um, what is actually being cooked on how you were presented to someone. Like you wouldn't say, "Oh, I cooked you egg on toast." You would say, "I made you egg on toast." But I Don't cook you this lasagna kind of thing. Yeah. Well, if you can cook lasagna, you can cook. Yeah, you, can you cook, cook lasagna. Yeah, you can cook. Like that is a real dish. I tried right? it once. And it was alright. Um, lasagna didn't put, a, didn't put enough salt. Oh, <laughs> uh, but when I do, I don't put much. I don't put cheese on it. Um, when it comes to like, yeah, but with cooking, uh, I. Literally, seasoning goes a long way. People don't really understand that. Because spices can last a long time. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? They'll be in your cupboard for a while. 
So, yeah. I, like, <clears throat> like, I know it's just a joke and I'm not going to overplay it, but have you actually seen people eat like plain chips? Yes. Now, it disappoints me. Yeah, it's it's quite, yeah. It's, it is quite saddening because you do look at it and you're like, mm. how much your life could be better. So much potential, but. Have you ever had um, a plain curry? Plain cu- What's a plain curry? Yeah, exactly. It, it shouldn't exist, but I that's had a plain thing. curry once. That's a thing. Huh? That's a thing. Yeah, the, the, they the didn't thing? put like any what's spices or okay. like salt in it. Define curry to me then. Cause I actually curry, like, it. so like it was like beans and mince, mince meat and like um, curry. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, hang on. Beans, okay. mince that meat, is. curry, right. What's plain curry? Yeah, there was like no salt, no seasoning, bro. Like I might as well at paper. It was real. So oh, no, nah, I can do it. I'll tell you what's good. I like, think the I've bread been... was spicier than the curry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like is that bad? That's not even that funny. I don't even want. <laughs> <laughs> you hate laughing at my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, one thing. I keep saying one thing and I keep saying one thing and then naming like a whole list of different things. Right. Another thing. Avocado is something I never used to rate because yeah. have you had avocado? It just tastes like nothing. Tofu and avocado have the same taste. Right. I think mean, avocado has a taste when you put sugar on it. Sugar? You don't put sugar in your avocado. Do you mean salt? No. Bro, you're bugging. Are you serious? Wait, let me just check. I- I'm thinking of the right fruit here. Avocado. Oh, fruit. Yeah, avocado. You put sugar on it. Ain't a fruit. Oh, what? Green, oh, is it one, right? It's got pip in it, hasn't it? That giant ball, the acorn in the middle. Oh, it's an acorn. Oh, oh, I didn't even know. It's I, a I, fruit. I, avocado. Fruits. It's a fruit. Yeah, it's got seed in. But. That's what fruit is. Stuff for season, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I hope. I don't know. You want to look that up? Just double check that. What defines a fruit? What defines a fruit? I think it's something with season. Define a fruit. (laughs) Yeah, no, I think you're right because that's why tomatoes are fruit, right? Depending on whatever. Yeah, all right, okay. I don't think that that wasn't the important thing. The important thing. Yeah, sea berry. Yeah. I think I actually rate avocado now. So I put like... Salt sugar? No, I put salt on it, bro. Like, I put it on toast and I put salt on it. Oh my God. Do you know what? I rate avocados now. Like, before I looked at it as like... And yeah, shame on me for this, but I looked at it as the most vegan thing you can eat. I think once you have kale, that's when it's like, yeah, you're vegan. Are you joking? I used to... I love kale. Like, I used to have kale quite a lot at home because... I would never buy it now just because cooking it's a real bit. I'm quite a lazy cook, but I'm a good cook. Does that make sense? All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to test that out soon. But yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay. We could <laughs> I'm a good cook. I just like right, what when it comes to spices and shit, like what do you add? Oh, everything, man. Whatever's in the drawer. Really? That's what I add. Um, so base always salt pepper always you have yeah, to yeah, yeah. that's okay fundamental like you don't even fundamental. have fundamental to... uh, all purpose seasoning pretty much always as well them three are pretty much my is that like the five different spices one that's that's yeah it's pretty much salt with right. like a bit of flavor i had that i wasn't the biggest fan uh and all the thing is it depends what i'm cooking so let's say just a simple pasta it, dish it. Yeah. yeah i'll go for uh two different curry powders Okay. And a bit of paprika. Yeah, I was going to say, okay, paprika was the real seller for me because I was like, mate, I have to have paprika every time with my pasta. It just makes the flavor, really. Yeah. Big time. Okay. Right. That's all I wanted to hear. I'm happy with that. Right. Student tabs. You got any other questions for me? Yeah. Um, speaking of spice, what's the student loan like? How's that so, fair enough? Easy. Um, it depends. So no, like the system's kind of broken because it's based on how bad your life is at home. So, and when I say it's broken, that that sounds fair already. But um, you can. I know a lot of people who have lied about situations, mm. their family situations, to just to get more money from 
like the loan. Me, I'm. I don't know if I feel safe stating how much I got, so I'm not. But I got a hefty loan, but it still doesn't pay. I think out of everyone I know, I definitely got the highest loan. Mm. And well, I, I know quite a lot of people, so yeah, my loan is pretty decent, very, very decent, very nice to me. But um, with living in London, like the rent um, really eats away at it. Mm. So I kind of need to. But the last month of rent is the lowest, and when my instalment comes in, I'm rich again. Like when I say rich, I mean I don't ever have this much disposable income. Mm. Like I can lend money if I if I want to, but um, like before I'd have to say no. But remember, it is a loan, yeah. The money has to go back. Yeah, yeah I'm not giving it. Like I know the word. Shut up, right? I know, I know, but I feel comfortable giving the loan. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I'm not putting myself in a dire situation. Like I'm all good. Like all Gucci. Uh, fair enough. But like speaking of dire situations, what's the best part about uni? Yeah, so some people don't ha- have a good loan and doesn't even cover half their uh, rent. So they need a job way more than me. And I know I, I actually do know, I'm not going to say quite a few, but I'd say a handful of people who have turned to trapping mm. uh, earn money because it's quick money and it's high if you do it more. But they need the money to like pay off rent and stuff. Mm. It's kind of deep, don't you think? Like you have to tell. Yeah, for sure. Because um, <clears throat> I know people. Because it's actually quite common to do so. I can't lie. Like I know quite a lot of people go into it. It, it is just a common thing. Um, but some some people do it for fun because mm. it's like an extra bit of money. And it's quick. But when you have to do it, that to me is like a real wake up situation. Like, yeah, I that's. Guess. That's a peak situation to be in. Like some of us have been doing it from day early. Like I've been, I was literally born on. You would be, you would be a great dealer just because who would suspect it? Fam, I look like a dealer. I no, look, don't, bro. I look oh well odd. You're lucky. This is audio. We would put your picture up. People you... see me and think like, is that a brick or is that a person? Like honestly, hey, look at him. Okay, he's gonna snitch. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I need my respect on the road. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you disrespect me, I'm going straight to the oh. police. Oh, he's a snitch. <laughs> like that's that's the only way to get get them. I feel, I feel. Right. Any other questions? Yeah, I'm right? saying, what's the best part of uni? Best part of uni. Mm, I would say the independence, but I really use that. I'd say it's a new life. Like you can choose what you want to do with it. Now, if back home you were quite reserved and I'm just going to talk from a male perspective, right? Mm -hmm. If at home you were quite reserved, this isn't me, by the way. I don't know what this sounds like I'm selling me. But if you were quite reserved at home and you just, you kind of didn't give, I don't know, dating a chance, go and you go uni, this is your time to... I guess, boost your confidence, like really fix up yourself as a person and go out and, well, do bits. Where, like, so not exactly shine, but at least a light hue, like a little glow. <laughs> you can shine. But that's based on that's based on your talent and ability. If you're pretty, well, then the world is your oyster. Literally, being attractive uh, in a uni setting, uh, things fall at your feet more than you know. Like, yeah, I get you. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, it. If you're an attractive person, they still might not get this. Like, only some people. Only, I, I'd say, I'm a, I don't know, how yeah. many? Yeah, out of like attractive people would know, but uh, a lot of people treat you differently when you're attractive. Yeah, some some of my roadmates call me Positron. Positron. Why? You did science, you know why. Like. So, <laughs> I don't want to get into that. Right. Okay. No, but overall, are you happy with your decision? Joke, bro. Oh my god, you really are a student. Am I overall happy? Yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the year, like 
we'll talk more about this in a mental health um, episode because we have that coming. But <clears throat> at first, I didn't enjoy uni at all. I, I was not adjusting well. I loved my life at home to the point that I wanted it to be the exact same here. But it can't be. That's impossible. You're meeting way new people and you're a com- in a completely different environment. Now that I've adjusted, I've decided to like just completely adapt to where I am. I have my own routine here. I have my own set of boys. Like, um, I have a job here. I kind of have a life here. The only thing I'm missing but don't want is um, like a significant other. Mm. Like, don't want as of yet. Like, you got. I haven't met anyone that's impressed me. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But as far as I'm concerned, yeah, man, I'm I'm loving uni. I can't wait to do two more years. And one thing I didn't mention that I should have, like, just quick, is the work is rewarding if you, like, try. Now, that can come with anything, of course, but I don't know what it is about uni work, but you... Now, this is a very arrogant moment for me, but I got 92% on the test, right? Mm -hmm. It felt amazing because at at A-levels... I was not considered an intelligent uh, intelligent person at all because the way because <laughs> of the way they do stuff. Yeah. But when you get 92%, I was literally like, yo. I'm smart at something at least, like fuck. But it I don't know, it's a good feeling when you work hard and then you get it back. You know what I mean? Okay. Is that okay. what you're student? Any more thoughts about you? Anything you wanted to say? Um, nothing to be said now. We have an episode coming with mental health, so I'll give a more detailed description of do's and don'ts, I suppose. Yeah. Ah, oh, fair enough. Well, anyway, um, thanks for having me, Tabs. You can come back in. All right. Cheers, Jean Tabs. All right, in a bit, man. And uh, how's the chat? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah. Like. Very similar to you. Very like, similar. Oh, jeez. Sounds like, like, looking at him, he's quite tall. <laughs> How tall? How tall are you, man? Um, I think 6'3". Yeah, he's 6'3". <laughs> yeah, he sounds 6'3". <laughs> I'm 6'3". <six three. laughs> good day. I'm stick two. <laughs> you seen that? Nah, I'm actually six foot. You that? Uh, um, you told me about it, but I haven't seen it. Oh, it's so funny. You, you told me about it, but I haven't seen I it. I was 6'2". I told you I was sick too. Oh, my God. It's so oh. But yeah, we're a good little chat there. Yeah, um, man. Uh, who's the other guest? They're coming. But well, firstly, uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, if, if you uh, laughed at any point during this, <laughs> tell a friend and tell that friend to tell a friend. Oh, uh, man. We could um, don't know. Look, if you laugh, we're trying outros, any- but it's not yeah. working, is it? <laughs> if you laugh to find anything interesting or at least anything remotely useful, uh, just it will help us out if you just told one person. Like yeah. we don't even care who. Like we're not going to measure, but if you tell one person, that'll be great for us. <laughs>